dear student welcome to my youtube channel elite maths class in this lockdown period we we all have to stay at home so let's study from home so hope my this video this class uh, very helpful for you today i am discussing the first chapter of trigonometry of class 11 trigonometry in class 11 12 mathematics it is very important in respect of class 11 12 syllabus the whole trigonometry of class 11 as well as class 10 also all the formulas all the concepts all the techniques of solving the trigonometrical sums will be very helpful very necessary and very important for the whole uh, whole mathematics syllabus of class 11 as well as class 12 you will find uh, the part topic calculus in class 11 is a sim, uh, smaller part then the larger part is in class 12 you will see there in the, almost in each and every problem maximum of the problems based on trigonometry coordinate part is there you will get trigonometry there you can say that uh, the importance of salt in the kitchen as for every item every dish salt is very necessary as like as trigonometry is very necessary in every part of mathematics of class 11 and 12 and also in higher mathematics also so without any late let's start trigonometry of class 11 the chapter name is associate angles that is the very first chapter of class 11 trigonometry before that what concept you need is the concept of basic concept required the whole trigonometry of class 10 all the formulas and all the techniques also the three identities and the value table of class 10 i assume that you know all the formulas of class 10 now what is the main new concepts of class 11 trigonometry first thing you see see two angles are drawn here this is the concept of positive angle and negative angle now see what is a positive angle and what is a negative angle see in the first figure OA is the initial line and the angle is AOA dash is created by anti clockwise rotation of the initial line OA when OA is rotated anti clockwise the angle is created AOA dash the anti clockwise rotation if any angle is created by anti clockwise rotation of the initial line then the angle is considered as a positive angle see here i have written positive angle say so, the measure of the angle is 30 degree so it will be plus 30 degree now see this figure in this figure the angle is created by clockwise rotation of the initial line the angle is created by clockwise rotation of the initial line then the angle is taken as negative angle if it measures 30 degree then it will be written as minus 30 degree so two types of angles that concept was not in class 10 two types of angle positive angle as well as negative angle also there now as we know there are six trigonometrical ratios sin cos tan cot sec cosec so what will be the value of the trigonometrical ratios when the angle is negative see this formula without proof i have just written the formulas you just go through the formulas sin minus theta equal to minus sin theta cos minus theta cos theta only remember this cos minus theta cos theta tan minus theta minus tan theta cot minus theta minus cot theta sec minus theta sec theta cosec minus theta minus cosec theta here you uh, notice that for cos and sec no no effect of the negative sign that is for example if theta is 45 degree then value of cos 45 is equal to value of cos minus 45 similarly for sec value of minus 45 degree equal to value of sec 45 degree and for other the value will be of opposite sign that is if the value of sin 30 degree is plus minus sin sin 30 degree will be minus so these are the formula which is very important for the next part in the next part now consider one thing what can be the maximum value of an angle this is the question maximum value maximum value of an angle now say this is the initial line oa and it is rotated through anti clockwise direction here it will be 90 degree 
here it will be 180 degree here it will be 270 degree and come to the initial position here it is 0 degree when we, when we com, uh, complete a round the angle will be 360 degree that is one round means 360 degree so we can consider that the maximum value of an angle is 360 degree up to class 10 it is the concept that the maximum value of an angle is 360 degree and 180 degree is a linear angle now see another thing you don't stop here continuously if we rotate for the second round and you come to this place then the angle will be 360 plus 90 here plus 90 here plus 90 again to the initial position it will be 360 plus 360 for the third round plus 360 so then after the third round you stopped here it will be plus 90 that is for every complete round angle is increased by 360 one fourth of that plus 90 half of that plus 180 etc in this way we can consider a very large angle large positive angle as well as large positive angle uh, as well as large negative angle when we rotate along clockwise direction the angle will be a very large but negative in sign now the question arises as there are six trigonometrical ratios what will be the values of the large angles of the trigonometrical ratios for example if the angle is 1290 degree then the question arises what will be the value of 1290 or what will be the value of minus 1290 or what will be the value of 10 1290 degree so this is the problem now how to find the values of these angles now as we know the value of an angle can be any large number so now the question arises how to find the values of the large angles before that this is called quadrant rule this is called quadrant rule uh, before this in class 10 trigonometry in the trigonometrical table you see all the values are positive and the angles range is 0 to 90 degree the lowest one is 0 highest one is 90 that means in class 10 syllabus we are in a limit the limit is 0 to 90 degree all the values are between 0 to 90 degree but here we see that the value of an angle can be more than 360 degree also so here we find some of the trigonometrical ratios are negative also value of the trigonometrical ratios can be negative for all as sine cos tan cot sec cosec for all the values may be negative also here also without proof i am giving just the formula 0 to 90 degree this is 90 degree this is 0 degree 180 this is 270 in the initial position again the angle is 360 degree now see another thing here after the first round is complete and for the next consecutive rounds oh, those rounds will be overlapping with the first round so for the uh, rule of sign or for the quadrant rule we consider only one complete round which is divided into four right angles 90 90 90 90 each angle is a 90 degree in the first quadrant this is called first quadrant and this one is called second quadrant this is called third quadrant this is fourth quadrant this the name of the quadrant is according to the coordinate geometry in the coordinate geometry also we divide the whole x y plane into uh, into four parts first second third fourth quadrant and see the uh, rule the name of the numbering of the quadrant is according to the anti-clockwise rotation first second third fourth now you remember one thing here in the first quadrant all all positive all means sine cos tan cot sec cosec all the trigonometrical ratios are positive in the first quadrant that is when the angle lies between 0 to 90 degree all the values are positive in the second quadrant sine and cosec why cosec because cosec is reciprocal of sine they are 
positive in the second quadrant in the third quadrant 10 and reciprocal of 10 they are positive in the third quadrant and in the fourth quadrant cos is positive and reciprocal of cos that is sec is positive in the fourth quadrant so what about the other four trigonometrical ratios in the second quadrant all the other four trigonometrical ratios in the second quadrant are negative same thing in the third same thing in the fourth all the remaining ratios are negative in the third and fourth quadrant and second quadrant also and all are positive in the first quadrant you have to memorize this this is very important first concept very important concept you have to memorize this in short you can memorize like this a s t c one two three four first quadrant second third fourth that is in the first quadrant all positive second quadrant sine positive sine means cosec also positive third ten positive ten means cot also positive in the fourth quadrant cos cos means seg also positive okay so quadrant rule is clear next part is how to find the value of a large angle how to find the value of a large angle say it is 11000 degree say it is 1000 degree say it is 1200 degree then how to find the value say for that you see the rule say the given angle is given angle is alpha so first thing alpha must be expressed should be expressed in the form n into 90 degree plus minus theta where theta is an acute angle so how to express this one whatever the given angle is divided by 90 then find the remainder and then find the quotient then here two cases may arise the number of divisions by 90 it may be even it may be odd then rule 1 when n is even when n is even then remember that in that case if n is even then the trigonometrical ratios has no change that is if sine is there sine will be sine cos will be cos, tan will be tan, etc. Sec will be sec, cosec will be cosec, uh, cot will be cot, etc. No change. I will explain this with an example. Next thing you remember that the sign that is the quadrant rule. What will be the sign of that value? Sign of that value. Say the angle is given 12,000 degree. Sign 12,000 degree. Whether it is positive or negative. Sign will be taken sign will be taken by by the quadrant rule you now just remember this i am coming with an example this is the first rule and the second rule is when n is odd rule 2 when n is odd in this case the trigonometrical ratios changes if sign is there then sign will be cos if cos is there, cos will be sine. If tan is there, tan will be cot, cot will be tan. And if sec is there, sec will be cosec and cosec will be tan. And the same thing, the total, that is the final sign, it is positive or negative will be taken according to the quadrant rule. So, the rule is clear. clear. Whenever the we are finding the value of a large angle the first thing you have to divide the angle by 90 then express this in the form then check whether n is even or odd now just simply see an example say we want to find the value of say this is the question find the value of sine of minus 1290 degree what is the value of sine minus 1290 degree now see the first we have given some formulas sine minus theta equal to minus sine theta so the first thing we have to do is sine minus theta what is the formula of it is minus sine theta 1290 degree what is the reason since minus sine minus theta equal to minus sine theta okay now the next thing is we have to divide 1290 by 90 1 
90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 plus 30 degree this is the expression of of 1290 degree first do the work of this negative sign if there is a negative sign apply this formula what which one is applicable now see what is n here 14 n is even remember the formula when n is even then no change of trigonometrical ratios that is this is minus sign is there no change of sign will be sign so write sign then you have to write the angle here whatever the angle it is uh, alpha if it is 30 then write 30 whatever the angle here you just write that angle now the important thing is the second sign will be taken according to the quadrant rule now how to find the sign this is the quadrant fourth quadrant one two three four this is the initial position see here 14 into 90 plus 30 you start from here from the initial position 1 into 90 so here the angle is 180 that is 2 into 90 3 into 90 4 into 90 that means one complete round means it is 4 into 90 another round complete 4 plus 4 8 into 90 another third round complete 8 plus 4 12 here we have only 14 that is fourth round no need 12 then start from here another 90 13 another 90 14 14 into 90 plus 30 degrees so it is here that is the whole angle 1290 degree this angle by this process lies in the third quadrant and in the third quadrant sign is negative so another negative sign will be there hope this process is clear minus minus plus below of sine 30 degrees half this is the answer so the value of sine minus 1290 degree is half hope these rules and the techniques are clear first thing the first concept is positive angle negative angle second is the quadrant rule third is how to find the value of a large angle this is the process you watch this uh, two or three three times then all the process will be clear all the rules will be clear to you hope this video was helpful for you if this concept or this class was helpful for you please like and share my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of my further videos thank you very much